Hi, I'm Stacy Eyrick, and this is my book review for September 2022 on The Samurai's Garden by Gail Sukiyama. This novel was published in the late 1990s and is a historical fiction book that is set in 1930s Japan. And it is a slim novel, only about 224 pages. And in it, we meet the main character, whose name is Stephen. He's a young man who is suffering from tuberculosis. And his family sends him away from the city of Hong Kong to rest and recuperate in the coastal village of Tarumi in Japan. And so it's here that we see Stephen over the course of the next year uh, and how he, his health improves and he does rest and recuperate, but he also meets a series of characters and has a series of experiences that really change his life. So two of the most important characters in the novel are Matsu and Sachi. And Matsu is the house servant there that lives in and takes care of the beach house that Stephen's family owns in Tarumi. And Sachi is a woman who has been shunned uh, by the population there in Tarumi and she has gone to live in a hidden and very remote village in the mountains called Yamaguchi. And the reason that she was shunned and that she lives away is because she's a leper. And in fact, the community of Yamaguchi is all made of lepers from different parts of Japan. They have all fled and come there to rebuild their lives in a place where they can be accepted. So the overarching message in this novel is one of beauty and where we might find it in places we didn't think we would and it might look different uh, on the outside than we thought it would and also that that inner beauty and kindness that comes out when we really get to know the people of Yamaguchi and the people of Tarumi and then we begin to see changes in Stephen himself. Uh, he is an artistic young man and though he starts off as kind, he becomes even gentler. And I think he becomes filled with more of a sense of self and a sense of what's important by the novel's end. We see him go through what is his first young relationship in the novel. I won't spoil anything about that, but he does come into contact with a young woman in the village of Tarumi uh, named Keiko. And Keiko is a young Japanese girl and he himself as a young Chinese man um, at the time will need to come to terms with what that means, especially in 1930s. This was a time when the Chinese were being invaded by the Japanese. So it's a time of war and really we see that against this beautiful story of coming of age and these wonderful connections made by the people there um, that's that's put against the reality of the time which was not a happy one but in the end though there is a, a lot of sadness in this novel there's so much beauty to hold on to and though the novel is short, like I said, just uh, over 200 pages in length, I found myself going really slowly with it and wanting to savor it because of the elegant prose and the descriptions that just left me in awe of this place and these people and the achingly beautiful things that they did for each other and the love that they showed. And so I highly recommend this novel, The Samurai's Garden by Gail Sukiyama. It is one of the best that we have read this year for the club, in my 
humble opinion and I'm very pleased that it made it onto the club's list because once again without uh, the recommendations coming in from the club members I might not have found this one. Uh, it isn't a new book and it wasn't one that I saw in school although it is on some school reading lists now which I think is a wonderful thing. The book club's pick for October 2022 is Disappearing Earth, a novel by Julia Phillips. So I hope you'll join me later in the fall and thank you for watching. Happy reading. Bye-bye.